Hi, in this video I want to have a quick look at playing finger style blues in the key E. Uh, playing the blues in E is very common um, because a standard tuned guitar is loosely tuned to the key E anyway. Like so. Um, in this video I want to have a look at the, the chord sequences that are used, um, how it all relates in a standard 12 bar sequence and also the, the standard picking pattern when playing blues in E. So to start off, I'll give you a quick run through a short piece. Blues music primarily uses three chords, irrespective of what key it's in, and that's obviously no different in the key of E. Uh, the three chords that tend to be used are scale degrees 1, 4 and 5. Um, scale degree 1 is usually played as a major chord. Um, scale degree 4 is, is more often not a major, but can be played as a 7th. Uh, and scale degree 5 is more often than not played as a 7th chord. Uh, so when we put that into the key E, scale degree 1 is E major, scale degree 4 is A, in this case I'm playing A major, but it can be A 7th, like that, and scale degree 5 is a 7th is B 7th, like so. Um, the chords don't have to be played in the open position, um, they can be played further up the neck depending on the piece of music you're playing or the sound you want to achieve. So you could have E major in the open position here, A is a bar on fret 5, like that, and B 7th as a bar on fret 7, like so. Um, when playing it in finger style blues, um, what tends to happen is you play with a thumb the bass, the bass note line and this tends to play the root note of these chords depending on what chords getting played. So when you're playing E, you'll be, you'll be playing the E note. When you're playing A, you tend to be playing the A note like that as the bass note um, for the sequence and then the melody lines played with your other fingers on the higher strings. Um, but we'll get on to the bass picking pattern later on in this video. Um, first I want to have a look at incorporating this chord sequence in a standard 12 bar blues to let you hear how it sounds. We've had a look at the standard three chords that are used when playing blues in E. Uh, and now what I want to do is take those three chords and plug them into a standard 12 bar sequence just to let you hear how it sounds and let you, you hear that bluesy sound that these three chords give. Uh, in this sequence I'll be using E major, A major and B seventh. Um, and how it fits into a 12 bar sequence is it's four bars of E, two bars of A, two bars of E, one bar of B seventh, one bar of A, and two bars of E. And this will just give you the, the most basic 12 bar blues with these chords. Uh, like I said earlier, you know that the A can be an A seventh if you want and in some pieces it's like that. Um, and there's often in the last two bars which are E, there's often a turnaround put in place uh, over these bars. But we'll just do the standard one just to let you hear how it sounds. <laughs> that standard blues sound, that standard blues sequence coming through from the chords I was playing. So now what I want to do uh, is go on and look how we incorporate um, thumb and finger picking patterns 
in these sequences. We've had a look at the standard chords used when playing blues in E, and we've also looked how those chords fit into a standard 12 bar pattern. Now I want to have a look at the picking pattern that's used when playing finger style blues in E. Uh, blues music tends to be in 4-4 four, four times, so that's four quarter notes to every bar. Um, the bass notes that are played with the thumb in a finger style guitar tend to get played uh, on every beat of the bar, so every quarter note in the bar. Um, and this gives a sound like this. And that's played on the thumb while the other fingers are playing the melody line. The way that playing blues in E tends to slightly differ from playing it on, say, an open tune guitar is that it tends not to incorporate a Travis picking pattern. Um, so if you were playing blues on a guitar uh, in an open tune, what you tend to get is a, like a Travis picking pattern where the bass, the thumb, alternates between different strings to play the bass notes like this. But when playing blues in E, it tends not to do that alternating pattern and tends just to stick to the, the one string. Um, depending on the chord, the underlying chord that's being played. So if, for instance, it was a, an E part of the sequence, we would just play four straight quarter notes uh, in E, like this. Um, and the notes that are played, the bass notes that are played, depends on the underlying chord uh, that's being played in the sequence. Um, and the note that's played is the root note of that chord. So. If, if the chord's E you're playing, what you'll be playing is an E note in the lowest position. So in E, you would be playing E open uh, on the, the sixth string like this. If you're playing A, you would be playing the A open on the fifth string like this. And if you were playing, um, say, the B7th, um, you would have the B note here fretted on fret 2 of the 5th string like this. And that tends to be the same if you invert the chords as well. So if you were playing A with a bar over the fifth, you would be playing the sixth string in the fifth fret, which is A. And again with B seventh, you would be playing the sixth string in the seventh position, which is B. Like so. Um, and this tends to be the standard bass picking pattern in a lot of these blues tunes in E. So whilst your thumb is picking out those bass notes at a constant regular rhythm like that, your other fingers would be playing the melody line on the higher strings. So um, I'll just, just play uh, some relatively random uh, melody line notes and show you incorporated into the, the bass picking pattern. So, to start off in E, we'll be playing the bass note E with the thumb and we'll pluck some of the higher strings um, with the other fingers. Like so, and when the chord changes, the bass note changes as well. So if you're playing, um, doing a transition from E to A, um, when you transition to the, the, from the E chord to the A chord, you would change from playing the 6th string to the 5th string with the underlying A chord. So if you had this for instance. Like so. And the same as with the B7th. Um, and this is a standard bass picking pattern. I, I, you could argue that it's easier to play than the Travis picking pattern because you don't have the alternating strings. Um, but it still does take a lot of practice to get this, this idea of thumb independence where the thumb's regularly beating out the bass note like this while the other fingers are just doing what they, you know, are playing the melody line which doesn't necessarily have to fall on the same beats of the bar as the bass note. So. In future videos, I'll have a look at developing thumb independence. Um, 
you know, and, and how you can go about it. But once you get the hang of it, um, this style of bass note playing and picking pattern is relatively straightforward. We've had a look at the chords that are commonly used when playing blues in E, uh, and I've shown you how they're incorporated into the bass picking pattern and when playing finger style. Now what I want to have a quick talk about is which notes to use for the melody line. Uh, obviously, if you have a piece of music that's already written out, you would just play the notes that's there. But if you want to do a bit of improvisation or write your own music, uh, what notes would you be looking to use? I mean, ultimately, you can use anything you want. Uh, if you're writing a piece of music, you can put in any notes you want that you think sound good. Um, however, there are some standard scales that are good to use because they fit in so well. And again, these scales are used commonly in other types of music. Um, the first type, the first scale I want to look at is the minor pentatonic scale, which is extremely commonly used in music, especially pop, rock, and things like that, blues as well. Um, the minor pentatonic scale is a five note scale. Um, the five notes it uses when played in the key of E is E, A, G, B, and D, which correlates to all five of the strings on the uh, standard tune guitar played open. This means it's a very, very good key and a very, very good scale to use for improvisation and writing your own music. Um, what I'll do is I'll show you the, the minor pentatonic scale played. In this example, the notes will be fretted, but it'll also be played with open notes just to show you how it all integrates and sounds okay. So I'll just play through the notes just now. And already you can hear that sound. So using those five notes in any piece you want to write in E or any blues music you want to write in E is always a good place to start and you will not go far wrong using those notes. Because um, like I said, it is the, op the same as all the open strings on the guitar so you can incorporate these open notes in anything you're playing. So yeah, the minor pentatonic scale is a good one, not just for blues but for any type of music. Another scale I want to have a look at is the E minor blues scale. Now this scale is very similar to the E minor pentatonic. The only difference is it has an added note put in it and that's called what they call the blue note and basically it's the fifth note of the scale flattened. Um, so the fifth note of the E scale is B and that's flattened to B flat. So basically it's just the same notes um, is the E minor pentatonic, but with this added B flat. So it's a six note scale. So it's E, A, G, B, D, and B flat put in. And that B flat does give the scale a more bluesier sound. So again, I'll play through the scale and I'll let you hear it and I'll incorporate the open notes, which are also part of the scale, into it. So if you want to start writing your own music and uh, writing your own blues pieces, then these are two good scales to use. And E is a really good key for doing this um, because of the reason that these scales incorporate all the open notes of a standard tune guitar. Um, so if you want to write your own music, I encourage you to play around, um, but using these two scales as a starting point um, is, is a good place to start and you're going to get good results that sound really good. Obviously as you progress you can become more elaborate with the notes you put in um, but I would recommend using these two as a good starting point for playing the melody lines in blues music. So that's been a brief overview how to play finger style blues in E. Um, obviously there are loads of variations and different ways you can play it, um, but this is one of the most standardized ways you can play it. Um, we've had a look at the three chords that are, are mainly used in this style of music. Uh, and we've also had a look at a, a very standard picking pattern where you have the thumb playing the root note each chord on, on every beat of the bar. Also had a look over some of the more 
uh, basic scales that can be used if you want to improvise or write your own music in this key. Um, I hope this has been a helpful introduction into this type of music um, and I hope in future videos to maybe go into more depth in this subject. Um, but what I will do to leave you is I will play a short piece that I've just made. Um, it'll be a 12 bar piece incorporating the three standard chords which is E, A and B 7th uh, and it'll be played over the minor pentatonic scale for the melody line. Um, I hope you enjoy it and thanks for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.